I don't want to segue on AI, but we've touched on it, so I'm going to do it anyway. Um, the control problem for AI is something that's difficult, I think, uh, not allowing our um, creations to get out of hand. Is there a similar concern with regards to developing these tools for longevity that you could, um, a nefarious group could get a hold of the technology and then weaponize it or do something really, really sort of, uh, untoward? Uh, well, yeah, always you can turn technology against humanity. Uh, I'm, I'm not worried about that so much with what I do because uh, even though we have the technology to make mice and probably people age rapidly, uh, it'd be about the slowest way to, to damage your enemies. <laughs> there are much more efficient Shooting ways. Shooting someone in the head is all, has been created as a pretty efficient way to... There's there's that, and somewhere in between, you know, we, we could pretty easily unleash a, a deadly virus that wouldn't be too far beyond what we could even do in, in this lab. Not that we would, but yep. but in terms of making people age prematurely, uh, we can certainly do it. And mm. I could take you downstairs, or maybe somewhere I shouldn't say, and there yep. are... There are uh, mice that we can control their aging process forward and backwards. So that's doable. Mm -hmm. um, where I think people get uncomfortable with this technology is, um, so we now understand that there are genes that control how long we live. There's one, for example, called FOXO, which is turned on in whales and longer lived animals than us. There are even human variants. Uh, my children were lucky enough, two of them out of three, to inherit two really good copies of, of this longevity gene. And so they're probably going to live a lot longer than, than my wife and I will. Um, so we, we know a lot about that. So why does this get weird? Well, now that we can CRISPR engineer babies, what's going to happen when the world's most uh, intent helicopter parent wants a kid that can live to 120? That's probably doable right now. Whether or not we should is another question. Whose job is it to work out whether or not we should? Well, right now there's a worldwide debate amongst scientists about whether we should come out against it. Uh, interestingly, when, when human stem cells were first discovered uh, and that you could reprogram cells and clone animals, there was a, a much greater backlash. Uh, you probably remember the, the Blair Bush days where there were all these, in, these committees set up and it was banned here in the U.S., blah, blah, blah. We had something just as big happen uh, last year, was that a Chinese researcher, Professor He, had a couple of... Uh, well, engineered a couple of twins, twin girls who were, are resistant, going to be resistant to HIV infection. And he engineered those genetically. Now, there was a little bit of upset. A lot of scientists got upset because this was announced without any warning at a scientific conference. There was no oversight. There was no consultation with governments or other scientists. So the shock really took us all by surprise. But there was no major backlash. There hasn't been yet. There hasn't been any outlawing. You certainly don't hear a lot of backlash at the higher levels of government, over here in the US at least. Um, I think that's healthy. I think that what we've got is a very rational debate and that we shouldn't just overreact just because something feels weird or isn't has never been done before. Mm. Now, we need to discuss uh, not just the ethics, but is it safe? And that I think safety is more important than, than ethics, actually. Um, and what I mean by that is someone's ethics might be different than yours. I mean, usually uh, I come down on the side of freedom to, to do things as long as they're safe and that they're beneficial um, and there's some consent. Um, but in this case, what's tricky is that ch your children don't have consent. So that's why I think mm. it's, it's a hard one. But what if your child was definitely going to get, say, a dominant genetic disease and there was no way to get around it except... Um, either have new parents mm -hmm. or don't breed um, or to uh, have an abortion. What would be an example of a dominant genetic disease? Uh, so Huntington's, for example, if both parents have Huntington's, you can, or even one, you can have a, a child with Huntington's. Um, I mean, you can always select the embryo, but maybe you don't want to kill embryos. So maybe you could create uh, an embryo that you go in with this CRISPR editing system and chop out the bad Huntington's gene and create a healthy child. That should be doable.